Hey friends, welcome back. The web has lots of quantitative information like images or paragraph of text. But there are also lots of quantitative information that's more suited to what we call a table. Ideally, table should only ever be used for tabular data. Once you learn about tables, it might be tempting to use them for a page layout. There are few exceptions to this, like when creating an HTML email or for example, but for now you should only use tables for tabular data. So first we are going to go ahead and create our table with, with, with an opening and closing table tag. And we are actually going to create quite a few tags here. But before we do that, let's go ahead and add a border attribute to our table. We will just say border and give the value of 1 or 1 pixel. That will allow us to see our table a lot more easily. Otherwise, there, there would not be lines dividing the table rows and columns. Next up is the table row element. So we will create our first table row. Inside of there, there are two types of table cells that we can use. The first up is the default data. So TD is type of table cell that means table data. We are going to just create a few rows of data here. So in this cell, I am going to just list out some fruits and we will say apples. We will go ahead and copy and paste paste this table row and we will change apples in the cell to say bananas and then we will do one more and we will set this to say peach. So we will go ahead and save out that, switch over to browser and refresh the page and as you can see one of our page we can we now have a table with three rows and inside each row is a table cell with oranges sorry apples peach and bananas i said there were two types of table cells the second kind is a table table header or the th tag let's go ahead and add that in we will create a new row here up at the top because there are table headers and inside of our table headers we will type out fruits so well save that switch back to browser and refresh and as you can see a table head header has the default styling of being centered and border and bolded so you <clears throat> know that it is a table header of course with CSS you can apply whatever kind of styling you like let's create a second column next to this column to do that we actually just need to be add more table cells inside of our rows so to so so to the right right of fruits here we will go ahead and add another table header and we will call this one vegetables and create a new table cell so we will use the table data tag sorry we use the table data tag and in broccoli because that's a type of vegetable we will add another vegetable here radish and then finally we will add some more add, add some add one more we will say carrots so we will save that out and switch over to browser and refresh as you can see we will now fill vegetable column so let's try one last thing let's say we wanted to add another table cell of to the vegetable columns we will switch back and let's add a add in a, a table row and we will go ahead and create table cell and we will save potatoes because this is a vegetable we will switch back to a browser and refresh and as you can see that actually ended up in the fruits column 
so how might we get that over to vegetables if we didn't if we don't want to add anything to fruits we can actually ju- just insert empty ta- empty table cell so we will go ahead and add that in we don't actually anything inside of this table cell we will save that out and switch over to browser and refresh and as you can see potatoes is now in the proper column that about covers that basic of tables but there are some more to learn in the next video we will learn about a few more table elements and attribute so guys thanks for watching and please subscribe my channel